Welcome in the second video that belongs to the valve preprocessing tutorial. In the previous video we have prepared the main geometry of the valve. In this video we will extract and simplify the geometry of the valve's plug. You can continue working in the previous Salome session or you can start a fresh one and load the part 1.hdf file we have saved at the end of the first video. I have started a new session so I have to open the file from the first video. I will go to File, Open and I will open the file part1.hdf. And now we have to activate the geometry module. Then we will go into the object browser and we will expand the geometry. Clicking on the eye icon you can quickly show the geometry part. And here I will use the principal view to see the geometry. This is the geometry from the last video. But we will now process the geometry of the plug. So let's hide the processed CFD geometry of the valve and let's expand the original geometry globe valves S. Select all the shells, right mouse button click and click on show only. And this is the geometry of the whole valve. Now we can hide the shell 10 because we are done with the shell 10. And now let's go step by step and hide all the unnecessary shells from the original geometry except the parts of the plug. Right mouse button click and click on hide. And these are the only shells that we need for the further processing. Let's join them into one single compound to make the further work easier. Select them and go to the upper menu, new entity, build, compound. Here you can change the, the name, but we can leave it here, this default one, and click apply and close. Now we will explode the compound into faces because we will not use them all and we will do some geometry simplifications that will not affect the quality of the CFD results. So let's go to the upper menu, new entity, explode, here in subshapes type combo box select face and click apply and close and yes we want 168 faces so click explode and now select all the unnecessary faces and hide them And now we are going to create a new face that will connect the lower and upper part of the plug. Let's start creating two new points on edges that should be connected with a new face. 
go into the upper menu, new entity, basic, point, and select the point on the lower ring of the plug and click apply. The first point is created, so let's go for the second one. Switch the point construction to the point on edge. Select the upper ring edge and switch to point by coordinate and set the coordinates for 0, 0 and 1. The new point will be here and click apply and close. Now we have to build a line between these two points. So go to the new entity, basic, line, and select these two points and click apply. Now we will make a revolution of this line around the y-axis. So go to new entity, generation, revolution, select the line 1 as an object of revolution and set the axis as a y-axis that you can find in the object browser on the top. It's this OY. Set the angle of revolution to 360 degrees and click apply and close. Now we will group all these visible faces into one shell. Select all the visible faces and go to new entity, build, fa shell, change the name of the shell for example to region 3 dash closed and click apply and close. And now it's time to save the progress. Press Ctrl S and save the progress, for example, into file part2.hdf. And that's all from the second video.